Hi, hello. Uh, it's President Barack Obama. We're rolling. All right, number nine. Number nine. Weekly Western number nine. Folks, this week is very, very special because I announced the tour today. So, the Weekly Western meets the Western Tour. It's about to go down, y'all. This fall is going to be so fun. That's what I spent my entire morning answering DMs. I was on TikTok Live just talking to everybody. It feels like it's going to be an incredible tour. As a completely independent artist, you guys have just made me so freaking happy. So, let's just get straight into it. Gold, Cactus, Horseshoe. I mean, the gold has to be the tour announcement. We've been working so hard, we've kept it a secret, and we're going to so many cities that we've played before, that we've never played before. I got so many messages, people saying they're gonna do the VIP for the first time. Got so many messages about like, especially the cities we've never played in. People are like, yes, you're finally coming to like the Pacific Northwest and Omaha and Virginia. Like, it's just gonna be awesome. So, we have a brand new set that we're working on. Like, I can't tell you guys, if you've liked any of the other shows that we've seen, this show is just special. We're working on it right now and it just feels like next level. Uh, the VIP is gonna be really, really, really cool. We have a few surprises there. So if you don't have tickets already, spencercrandallmusic.com slash shows. spencercrandallmusic.com slash shows. For your tickets and VIP, just a heads up, VIP does go pretty quickly. So if you're thinking about it, like, oh, should I do it? You should probably just do it. Because otherwise, uh, as I believe it's Abraham Lincoln that said, you snooze, you lose. Uh, that's definitely my gold. My cactus this week. What even happened this week? Where am I? What day is it? Thursday? My cactus this week would have been... Um... Bro, what did I even do this week? Let me look at my calendar. <laughs> I usually think of these before and I'm just like... Oh, my cactus is a cactus that could become a gold, but it currently is a cactus, which is I've started doing acupuncture. And, you know, they kind of put all these needles in you, and then they just leave you at a room for like 30 minutes. And I looked up at one point, and I just had like what felt like 50 needles in my body, and that just freaked me out. So, but maybe it'll be helpful, because I have like gnarly TMJ, if you guys want to really come behind the curtain. It like hurts to talk and sing right now, and so I'm trying to get relief before this tour, and I mean, my TMJ is just the constant cactus of life just kicking me in the face. So I really would love some relief there. Unfortunately, the relief is also super painful, so I'm in my acupuncture phase, folks. I'm willing to try anything. If you have any, I already have Botox in my face. Like they put it in your mandible so it can help you not bite as hard. Get an acupuncture, I sleep with a night guard. What else can I do? So prayers up for the for the TMJ. That's my cactus. Uh, my horseshoe. Hmm. Horseshoe, horseshoe, horseshoe. Um. Oh. This could have been my gold, but it's just at this point. I started rewatching Scrubs. Hot take. It's coming at you. Hot take. The most underrated show of all time. Scrubs is fucking fantastic. Backstory with me and Scrubs. I'm 17 years old, 4th of July. I go and get a minor in possession of alcohol ticket. My mom comes and picks me up. She takes my keys away from me, um, you know, for like three months or whatever. And I was grounded. And so she would take me. I was a captain of the football team, and my mom was dropping me off at summer weights every single morning. Devastating. Just absolutely the most embarrassing thing in my life. It's my fault. I shouldn't have been drinking. Blah, blah, blah. I digress. The point being, I would wake up in the morning. I'd go work out. And I literally had nothing to do. I, I had work and stuff every once in a while. But I'd work in it, played against sports. And then I literally watched nine seasons of Scrubs in like what could have been six weeks. I like busted it out. And I would just look forward so being with Turk and JD every day. So that's my cactus. I restarted that. It makes me feel young again. It just gives me smiles. Just free drugs, that, that show. Um, let's see. What do we have next? We have gold, cactus, and horseshoe. Which, by the way, would love to know yours. Leave them in the comments. I actually do sit down and read them. They're very enjoyable. So let me know. 
then we got the Western Update. Oh, the Western Update. So we are now, tonight, get away from me drops, and that would be the end of chapter one. Chapter one is Scorpion. Scorpion is, there's a fire intro. No better, and get away from me. A lot of people don't know this, but Get Away From Me has an outro on it. We just included it in the actual song. It's like this pop punk outro. I wanted Scorpion to end with like rage. <laughs> I just wanted people to know how it really hurts when you're like confused and afraid to start and you don't want to go on the journey and you, you can't have, you don't want to be with yourself. You don't have self-awareness and like those things really can like even physically like end up hurting you. And so I just wanted that end to like feel like this completely different part of the song. So I've never done that before, but I wrote this like extra verse at the end to get away from me. So that's really exciting. I'm excited for that to come out tonight. That concludes chapter one. Chapter two is called Mustang and Mustang's coming at you ASAP. Um, if Scorpion's all about fear, loneliness, toxic thoughts and you know, cyclical behavior. Mustang is like almost the antithesis. And you'll notice this pattern the entire album. It's like, we almost propose a problem, but then we propose a solution. And along the entire journey, you'll watch my actual unhealth to health, unhealth to health. And I was really tempted when I was making this album to be like, I'm just gonna show people the good stuff but I challenged myself to be vulnerable and I challenged myself to let you guys into who I really am. And it's been so cool, I can't tell you guys what a gift it's been to put out the Scorpion chapter and people, thousands of comments being like, I can't believe you're saying this because this is what I think, this is what I go through. I don't want another party song, I don't want another you know, love song. I want somebody to finally look at me and go, hey, you're not alone and you feel, I feel this too and we all feel this. So that's been really special. Um, one of my favorite songs in the entire album is on this next cha chapter. So get ready for that because it, as the kids say, slaps. Um, so yeah, that's where we are. And obviously, gotta say it again, the tour. I can't wait for this freaking tour. Uh, tickets are on sale right now. SpencerCrandallMusic.com slash shows. SpencerCrandallMusic.com slash shows. Um, you can also text me 615-358-7729. 615-358-7729. Uh, and we're giving out tour info there as well. Um, that's the, the update. Let's get into some Q&A, baby. Shall we? Shall we? I didn't listen to any of Jeff's voice notes, so I have no idea what anything he would like wanted me to say. Should we do that really quick? Yeah. Uh, All right, let's get into the questions. Shall we? All right, we got some questions. The first question is from, hey, it's dot Jalea. She asked new merch, question mark? A bunch of new merch, especially on the tour. We're gonna have, I was looking at all these designs the other day. It is sick. So even if you're just gonna come to the show to buy merch, you should do that. Uh, we're also doing chapter merch drops. So at the end of every chapter you saw on Friday, we did the first Scorpion merch drop, which in my opinion, looked sick. So we're gonna be doing those limited release, only a few um, you know, items per merch drop. So I would love to see somebody get all six. That's gonna be really cool to see if anybody can collect all six of those. So look out for those at the end of every uh, chapter. We have a ton of new merch coming for the tour and then even some stuff at the end of the year um, as the album is finished. So that will be really, really exciting. I, not that I haven't always loved my merch, but especially when you're like a younger artist, you just get like really basic stuff. And this time around, I was so intentional about like the way it looked and and even colors and all this stuff. So I like worked really, really hard on it and I think you guys are gonna love it. New merch coming soon. With uh, the next next question is from Benna, not Benna, let's try again, shall we? The next question is from Brenna Taman. With tour coming up, see you in OKC, I can't fucking wait. What is your before and after show ritual? My before ritual is basically an hour before the show, I like lock into game mode. I do my full vocal warm up. I take some of these like little voice drops. Um, I suck on cough drops, which is interesting. Keep it, you know, the worst word in the room. The worst word in the world. 
lubed. My throat must stay lubed. Do with that what you will. Um, don't just cut off that part and put that on the internet. Uh, <laughs> but um, yeah, that's what I do. And then honestly, I get like, I get loose. I, I try to kind of almost like do like a mini workout, get a sweat rolling before I roll it on stage, hit the highest note and the lowest note of my set. And I usually just hang out with the guys. We get pumped. We all kind of have adrenaline. And I usually try to eat something small like a banana or something if I haven't eaten. Pretty boring. I treat my show like sports. I, I really take it very seriously to put on an incredible show. I know certain artists, like, they really do just kind of roll out there and figure it out. I want to put on every single night, I want to put on the absolute best show in every single city. So that's what I'm doing back there. While you guys are hanging out, I'm just going like and sucking on cough drops. Keep my throat looped. Uh, question three, shall we? <clears throat> uh, we're going to take two questions that are basically the same question which is uh, Emily Adams and Unkitty Fox ask, are there gonna be meet and greets and how excited are you for the Grizzly Rose? Uh, so yes, there's meet and greets. Like I said, VIP is available right now. Just gonna emphasize and go fast. So spencercrandallmusic.com slash shows VIP. Grizzly Rose, I'm so excited. That's where I grew up uh, going to see shows. And I would go when I was like 17 or 18 and get kicked out every single week because I would wash the X's off my hands. So it'd be good to be back as an adult. Uh, Kayla Jean asks, will you be doing Weekly Westerns while you're on tour? Yes, the whole point of the Weekly Western is to keep it going throughout the entire year. So we want to make this a conversation that really never dies. I don't want this to be a thing where I miss one or whatever. Obviously, if something crazy happens, that will happen. But our goal is to do it every single week throughout the rest of the year. So uh, yeah, glad that you guys are here. If you don't already, like, subscribe. That's an easy way to uh, keep up with the Weekly Western. Mags underscore Rachel says, what's the exact message behind I Know Better? It's a great question. I had a uh, phone call with my little brother one time and we were both really frustrated because as adults, you make poor decisions. And when you're a kid, like a little kid would eat a bunch of ice cream before dinner and it would ruin their appetite and you'd have to inform them like, hey, I know why you got hungry and ate that ice cream, but you didn't know any better. So here's how the world works. I know how the world works. So when I fuck up, it's this extra little dagger of like, I chose against what I already know is better. I'm still not good enough, I'm no better, to actually make the right choice. And it's so frustrating. Food, alcohol, girls, enter anything, any vice, any you know thing that we all struggle with. It's really frustrating to be you know in your late 20s and still make egregious mistakes and I feel like I wasn't alone, my little brother and I talked about that for a long time and then my manager actually was like, because I told him about that conversation, he was like, oh, what if the flip of like no better and no better, so he's actually right around the song. Um, fun fact, so that's where no better comes from, it's just because I get frustrated with my adult decision making because sometimes I feel like a little freaking kid and I have to babysit myself. Um, and I, again, that's very vulnerable, like I wouldn't have ever put that on a project before but I promised myself during this entire project, during W slash slash, that this would be what it has to be, is me being really, really honest and letting people in because I think my story is your story, is all of our story, and that's the whole point of this entire project. So there's a lot more to come. Right now, if you just listen to Scorpion, you'd be like, oh, I feel pretty hopeless. That's not the point. The good news is we get to look in the mirror, be honest with ourselves, and then each chapter almost has an answer chapter, which is like, in health, then what do we do? In health, then what's the next solution or next step? And then we can talk about that together. That's coming very soon. That's called Mustang. This is Weekly Western number nine. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, subscribe. We'll see you on tour. Tickets on sale right now. Check it out. Anything else, gentlemen? Well, then get out of here. Bye.